It's up Taverns. It's your boy. It's Nick, the ASMR nerd. And hey, we're back for some more Thief Gold. I think the requisite amount of time has passed since I last did one of these. Like three months or maybe more, something like that. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely overdue for some more Thief. And uh, a few of you have been reminding me that it's time, uh, which is always how I know. You probably hear me say that at the beginning of every one of these episodes. You probably roll your eyes. It's okay. It's tradition. So today, we are beginning the penultimate level of this game, the second to last. This level is called Strange Bedfellows, and you will see why that is very shortly. Last time we played, we finished the escape level, which entailed us getting the heck out of Constantine, Constantine's weird plant dungeon, um, and some screwing around with trying to find some dumb books. <laughs> that took way too long, but anyway, um, we did it. And of course, the big deal here is that we, Garrett, um, stole the the eye, uh, some kind of mysterious and foreboding artifact, um, which appears to have magical powers. We stole it on behalf of Constantine. We brought it to him. It turns out that he has dark plans with it, and he uh, took it from us and also took our own eye, our literal eye. So Garrett is uh, down one eye. And Constantine is using our eye to power the eye, if that makes any sense. And, uh, yeah, he's got nefarious plans. It turns out that Constantine is the tricksy lord, the, uh, sort of pagan deity. And, um, his plan is to plunge the world into darkness using the eye and our eye. So, uh, now we've got to stop him because we kind of created this mess, didn't we? So, that is what remains. So, I suspect this will be another, you know, at least two episodes to finish this level, but possibly three, uh, as usual. And then there's one level left after that. We're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. So, without further ado, let's start Strange bedfellows. supposed to go. Constantine has the eye, and my eye, and I doubt he has anything wholesome planned for it. The trickster is real after all. I don't think anyone but those crazy hammers really believed in the old gods. Those crazy hammers. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have a few dozen heavily armed fanatics on my side just about now. If I drop by their temple and explain things, they'll be so distracted by the trickster's return that they'll forget to hold a grudge. And even if they don't, I know how to get out of Craig's cleft prison already. So, we got a little summary of what I told you already, kind of, but you can see that Garrett's plan now is to attempt to sway the hammers over to helping him, <laughs> which actually shouldn't be too difficult, really, because as he points out, the Hammerites hate uh, the, the woodsy lord, the trickster. Um, he is their sworn enemy. So, uh, 
they should be pretty receptive to doing something about it. it says here, the Amorites have been preaching about the trickster for years. Maybe they have some advice on how to deal with him for real. But with all the trouble you've been to them lately, you'll have to sneak in past their guards to talk to someone in charge. And the hammers will never help you if you make the situation any worse. Better stay out of any more fights with them. So, yes, we are going back to the Hammerite Temple, the one with the alarm. You remember the alarm? The most relaxing klaxon ASMR. Uh, time for us to go back. <laughs> Hopefully we can avoid setting off any alarms this time. Let's do it. Alright, so we actually cleared out the last level pretty good. Not every last piece of treasure, but pretty darn close. So, uh, we can probably buy quite a bit of stuff here. Now, um, as with the last few levels, it's been ages, like well over a decade since I last played this level, so I don't remember a whole lot about it. Um, but, you know, water arrows are always a good thing. I don't remember exactly what we're going to be fighting. So I'm just kind of doing a generic loadout here. Honestly, we probably have enough to buy most of this stuff. Uh, we rarely use noisemakers, but you know what? I'll get them anyway. I don't like gas mines, flash bombs. Pretty much never use a speed potion. Uh, can't buy that last one. We're left with an awkward amount of cash. I guess we'll buy a flash bomb just to just to use up what we can. And uh, that leaves us here with uh, a pretty solid loadout. Yeah, pretty solid. Okay then. Well, we know what we have to do. We have to try and win the Amorites over to our side. But first, we have to get in there to talk to somebody. Let's go. Alright, here we are. Outside the Hammer Temple in the streets. But wait, what is this? What is this? Uh-oh. That's probably not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Why is everybody here dead? What? Oh. Why indeed? A new objective. Let's see what that's about. Uh, okay. There's clearly been a problem here, so we've changed goals here. Uh, investigate the situation and locate the Amorites. Where are the Amorites, and why are there so many dead people here? Something very bad has happened. Can't get in this way, but this is the temple here. I think this is just the, uh, yeah, the kind of moat situation, so we gotta go around the other way. Not all is going according to plan. feeling about this. Me too, Garrett. Me too. Dead guards. Uh-oh. Spaghetti -o. Here. Where are all the hammerites? Bad things. Bad things. But you know, before we go and find out what those bad things are, I'm going to go over here, just in case there's something to pick up. <laughs> over here, I doubt it. But you never know, sometimes they 
tuck things away in the sort of outside areas of the level for the persistent explorer to find the thorough explorer nope, nothing here this time though this is just the other side of the moat okay, so we can go inside seems legit probably totally safe, right? it's gonna be fine since I last played this, I've actually seen a number of um, documentaries and interviews with people on the original development team. You know, there's been a interest um, in this game from sort of a historical standpoint uh, now that it's an artifact, but so um, seminal in its genre. And uh, after hearing those stories of the development and and learning more about it, I, I have even more admiration and respect for what the dev team pulled off with this game. Alright, let's, let's see what's going on in here. Oh dear. Oh dear. There was clearly a fight here. This place got trashed. No Amorites. No treasure. way. This might allow us to avoid the worst of those guys. Oh, I hear something out there. Oh, it's one of those rat men. Freaking hate him. Freaking hate him. Uh, quick save, F11. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still got it. Oh, and the whole reliquary just got trashed. Everything destroyed. Skull of Saint Ruby Woody. <laughs> and I just throw it on the floor. Some cheese. I don't know why there's cheese in the reliquary, but we'll eat it. Uh, is this this is not treasure, is it? spider. You know what, though? Good. Let's kill him. Oh. That's less than ideal. What is going on? Okay, he's... Um, I don't actually think I've ever experienced that effect before. Okay, so he shoots things. Well, we're just gonna have to load, because that's stupid. <laughs> he took a lot of damage there, clearly. Clearly. Uh, those spiders have some kind of web spitty thing. Oh, hey, what do you know? 
an arrow that I missed. Oh, several arrows that I missed. Oh, crap. Oh, I hate those guys. All right. <laughs> Let's try this again. If we're careful about it, we can probably get behind that guy and get the, uh, the one-shot kill, you know? Maybe. Where is he is the question. You know what? Forget it. Doesn't matter. Let's just carry on. Okay. So, oh, spider. We could also shoot the spiders. That's always an option, of course. We only have six broadhead arrows, though. So maybe not. Oh, there we go. Uh, all this crap around here makes this challenging. Oh, come on. Ugh. Oh, where's my sword at? Oh, I can't use it there. Oh my god, can we stop? Can we just stop that? <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh, really? You jerk. Okay, hitting these guys is nearly impossible sometimes. Yeah, you run away, you jerk. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna have to load. Oh, neat. Okay, well, this is going great so far, you guys. This is going great. Okay, well, another thing we could do is we could just drop down here. Maybe, maybe we don't have to go through there at all. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe it's for the best if we don't. So yeah, let's try that. I mean, there might be some loot that we're missing or, you know, that kind of thing, but we can at least gather up the arrows. Okay, let's, uh, quick save. And let's just uh, do this. I said do this. Actually, let's do it this way. Sure, that'll do. Okay, now we know there's a rat man out here somewhere patrolling. But I think we can 1v1 a rat man if we have to. Oh crap, it's the stupid frog things. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. There we go. Okay, there's the rat man. Oh, I think one of them saw me. Rats, literally. Oh, come on. I know we got one of them, but we took a bunch of damage and still gotta fight this one. That was the least stealth. Uh, but maybe, maybe we just roll with it, I don't know. A bit of damage there. No, oh, I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Whatever. We'll just go with it. <laughs> That's probably the wrong choice, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta commit to your mistakes. So this would normally be the way down below, but it's been blocked off. Can't get down those stairs, so we're gonna have to go a different way. Just poking around just in case, just in case there's something out here for us. Doesn't look like it though. treasures in these uh, crypts pre 
previously, but uh, I guess we took them out. So probably not anymore. <laughs> Now this is a way back up, I remember that much, but I don't know it's really going to help us a lot, well, an arrow at least. Oh, a mine, okay, oh, and a healing potion, alright, well that, that was well worth it actually. So well worth it, I think that's worth a quick save, don't you? Oh, crud. <laughs> Is he coming? I don't think he actually saw us. Oh no, he went back. Okay, well that was lucky. That was lucky. Oh, spider. Oh, these guys are jerks. Alright, let's see what we can do. Guys are so hopeless. <laughs> Silly. Silly. Not a lot of shadow around here, he says as he steps into shadow. But I just mean generally, there's a lot of bright lights, not a lot of good places to hide. Wait, what? Bruh, why? I thought he didn't see us. Oh, come on, buddy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on, turn around. Turn around. Oh. Do we try it? Let's quick save. Oh, he can totally hear us. They're way too, way too good with their hearing. Okay. Got a flavor book here. I am a wall builder. Let my walls endure from season to season year to year and age to age. Let my walls stand while families toil, armies march, and empires fall. I am a wall builder, and my walls will stand always as a shield against evil. This I pray, that will the master, that will the master builder grant. I do actually enjoy the like, you know, faux religious uh, writings in this game. They do a great job of it. There's a bunch of other such books here. Oh my gosh, each of these can be read. I think we might have actually read quite a few of these um, the last time we were in this temple. <laughs> I don't remember which one, so. Okay, a flash bomb. Yeah, I think we've read that one. Okay, a little, little quick save save. Um, we know there's a spider out there. Oh yeah, <laughs> spider knows we're here too. There he is. This is hopeless. I don't know why I'm even... Uh-oh. I don't know if there's really any reason trying to come this way. We could just go back outside and... God, these things are so hard to hit. Okay, whatever. Sure, run away. See if I care. Wait, don't shoot me. Don't know that there's a whole lot of reason to come in here. Because I don't think we're going to find what we need here. But maybe there's some 
treasure or something. Oh, okay, actually, this might be where we had to come to. Like I said, or like I said earlier, I don't remember this level very well, but it looks like we have to go into, into the crypt, into the sarcophagus. Oh, crap, did the mantis, oh, he followed us. You probably won't follow us down the ladder, though. Let's go. Ladders in this game notoriously awful. Can we survive this? Looks like it. Okay. Now we're talking. Dead Amorites all over the place. Wait, if they're dead down here, that means that their escape route has been compromised. Of course it has. Rat man, rat man. Hey. Oh, rats. Oh, no. <laughs> Could they shout any louder? Oh. I didn't mean to actually do that, but. Wow, okay. Just one shot us. Extremely rude. Oh shoot, I didn't save once we got down. <laughs> Alright, I'll let us save here. somehow managed to dodge him. Um, oh, rats. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> All right, okay, sure. Uh, big yikes. here on the ground that we might be missing. Okay, so we know there's a rat that comes through here now. There he is. Oh, the 
this might be a good chance to finish him actually. Nice. Okay. Now he might have friends. Oh yeah, he definitely does. Okay. Oh crap, no. We were doing so well. Piss off, spider. Oh my god, what a jerk. Okay, sure. Ugh, hitting these guys is so annoying. Wow, we did it. Okay. Let's save. That's where the quick save. Absolutely. Two rat men and a spider down. I'll take that. There's at least one more out there. I think I hear him. There he is. Alright, let's do this thing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Incredibly freaking rude. Wow. Wow. That was, that was unfair. <laughs> I don't know how he, like, unbelievable reflexes turned around immediately and like hit us. But he should probably still be on his way. Yeah, okay, let's, let's try that again. Maybe we can. Or not. Oh, spiders. Cool, cool. Further down. Oh, there's a spider. Spider's coming for us. Where's the rat man? Oof, this guy got crushed. That's pretty grim. Oh, 
looks like the hammerites managed to kill a mantis beast. Not too shabby. Always gotta check, you never know. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes there's stuff behind the banners. Once, anyway, in the first level, in Baffert's Manor, there is something behind the banners. Do you guys think I should use one of our health potions? I think I should. We have two of them. Yeah. It will allow us to survive. You know, a couple hits, probably. Or at least one hit, whereas now, if we take a good hit, we just die. Okay. I had to save. Nothing here, eh? What's the point of this back room? Just checking in case there's something behind. 
Ah, oh, we gotta go down here. So, let's see what we can find further down in the depths. Water, no, not water, caves. More rat men. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. The remains of a fire. Rat man. It's a door over there. Okay, we can get down from there. in the lighting guys a flickery torch okay very good at least we've got a nice dark tunnel to return to here This is not nice and dark here. I really wish I could just stomp on the glowy mushrooms. I swear, back in the day, you used to be able to put those mushrooms, or pick them. Oh, that's a sign of the trickster, I believe. Yeah, I think back in the day you used well, I, I don't know, for some reason, I remember, and maybe I'm just misremembering, but I thought you could, if not pick them, like at least, um, put them out, turn them, turn them off, I don't know, I guess that doesn't make any sense, I'm probably just misremembering. Oh, more fire arrow, please, may I, hello, there we go. It's so bright everywhere. that. 
that. Uh oh. This is a broken texture. It's not supposed to look like that. Avert thine eyes. Alright, let's just let's just do a little quick load. Do a little quick load. Okay, we got another okay, this jerk, yeah. Nothing now. Be see something. Okay, that that's good. Okay, there's nothing in here. That way over there we know goes down to the death pit. Um, and there was a... Oh, God. We could just not go down there, you know? We could just not. Okay, this guy. If he comes around this corner, maybe we can just... He seems kind of stuck. Okay, his AI was pretty broken, but you know what? I'll take it. This game has enough cheap things in it that uh, when something breaks, I will use it to my advantage. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't think we really want to go down there, but we might have to. But there was something interesting over here. You might have noticed. You might have heard. Oh. Right. This. Water doesn't always do what you expect water to do. When the woodsy lord is around. Did you guys hear that, though? Did you hear some talking? Did we just oh a gas arrow? Okay. Alright. You know, this seems like a good spot for like a full-on save. So let's let's do that. Because it's been a little bit. The master thief. There is scant time to explain. The tricksters, foul beasts, have captured our high priest. And if we cannot retake him alive, all shall be lost. Thou also, our enemies escape. hold the builder's chisel, which thou must recover. Oh, yeah. We lack thy skills of stealth and treachery, and our enemies must surely kill him should we make a bold attempt. Take this key and map and go. <laughs> Now there's a big fight. Suddenly they're they're fighting. Now you can do it. They did it. Okay. All right. So we have been tasked with rescuing their high priest and recovering a chisel. Maybe the chisel we already recovered is what we needed. I suspect that this key will get us into that door up above that was locked before. And, uh, you know, it just calls it a chisel, though, not the builder's chisel. So, maybe it's not the right thing. I don't know. But let's read the scroll. Okay. The siege window. That's where we were, where we are. This is not a super useful map. I hate to say it. <laughs> These are our maps from before. Oh, there we go. Okay, now this is a little more interesting. What's all this? Dock to lower to river to upper and some caves. Okay, this is a pretty crappy map, but you know what? At least you guys are trying. I appreciate the effort. Um, where are we for our objectives here? Investigate the situation, locate the hammerites, find the priest, return the high priest to the hammers. Okay, yeah, we definitely don't have the builder's chisel. Too bad. Here I thought maybe, just maybe, our chisel would come in handy. Maybe we can convince them it's the builder's chisel. Be like, oh no, this is definitely it, you guys. 
100%. Yeah, you just... It just has always looked like this. Totally. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Where'd that... Where'd that key? Nice. Ta-da! we gotta deal with. Oh, this is like a hammerite burial. Maybe I should like quick save before we get caught. <laughs> Since I don't really want to have to come back up here again. Okay, all right. I guess he heard his buddy die. Uh, do we roll with it? I don't know. Oh crap. I don't know, we've taken out a couple of them. Okay, sure. Let's roll with it. <laughs> Let's live dangerously. We do have one health potion left. Why am I coming back out here? Oh, God. Why indeed? Why indeed? Uh-oh. Oh, he saw us. Well, that's a big no. Oh, so did Spider, apparently. Um, but there, there was something out there that triggered an objective update, so I think we have to, we have to go in there, whatever it was. Oh, lordy. 
It's kind of this, yeah, that doesn't really tell us much. Oh, to lower. No, that was the way where we had our little pile of rat men. To dock was the other way there. This is down below. Okay. Might be our chance, possibly. Or very much not. <laughs> Rats. I'm actually not quite sure why we're getting an objective update when we fight that thing. Like, what's that about? Okay, well, we know where he is, at least. He's, he's hanging out in this room. This way, you big stinky man. Really? Are you serious? That's what I get for calling him big stinky man. Maybe the objective update just happens when we die or something. Also, big stinky man is like the worst, like least representative insult for that dude. Because, uh, he's big. And not a man, and I don't know what he smells like at all. Oh, that was probably a bad time to save just in case he does see us. Oh, that's not good at all. Why did I, why did I say, okay, what is this objective we're getting though? Destroy all the insect beasts. Oh, this is like some kind of secondary objective. Okay, well, now we are in a very interesting scenario here where he's about to come through and he's gonna see us no matter what. So... Well, maybe not no matter what, but... So we can't escape if we have to. Where'd he go? He's really like right there. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he's coming back. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We could use the gas arrow. This is terrifying. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's extremely rude. Okay, whatever, let's just get out of here. Okay, well, I 
I didn't know that was going to be a sub-objective, so now at least we know. And, oh, spider. Nice. That was worth the save. Uh, now at least we know that that is some kind of bonus objective. I think this dude's the last thing in this area. Oh, that means, wait, we have to go back to that pit outside. There's that pit. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, well, uh, you know what? No, that's just how it is. But let's see if we can deal with this guy. Let's see if we can deal with this guy. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Oh, there he is. Maybe he'll come through here. Jeez oh, Louise. I was so sure that getting them in the back was a one-shot kill, but maybe it's a two-shot. Okay, well, we do have um, gas arrows, which I think actually deal with these guys pretty effectively, so we can try that. Oh, are you serious, bruh? <laughs> you jerk. Like, turn to the last possible second. Can we stun lock this guy? <laughs> oh my god. Stun lock strafe for the win. Ah, okay, quick save, quick save. Oh, we did it. You guys, we did it. Um, but, but, okay, yeah, we've been out here. I think we've been everywhere down here now. Um, we still have that one down in the pit. You know what, let's go deal with the one down in the pit before I forget about it, because if we come back for another episode, like, however many months down the road, I'm going to have totally forgotten what we have to do and where he is, so let's just go do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, that looked like a safe drop to me. Uh, evidently it was not. Not even a little bit. Not even slightly. <laughs> down there. Big jerk. Uh, maybe we can snipe off, pick off some of those, uh, the little, little hobby froggy guys. Oh wait, I think we actually managed to hurt. I think we managed to hurt him by blowing up the frog next to him. Oh, he's coming. Oh, Lottie coming. Prepare yourselves. He's probably too stupid to come all the way up here, though. Oh, definitely not. Okay. Stunlock strafe. Question mark. Oh, yeah. Eat it. ASMR screeching bug death noises. Wow, okay, well, that actually went way better than it had any right to. He clearly took quite a bit of damage when I blew up the frog thing, uh, which is great. That's great. Now we might have had to come down here anyway. It could be that... Oh. Yo, what's up? Be on guard. I think there was something odd a while back. I guess this is just another way I could have talked to those guys, maybe. What's up, bros? Thou canst not stay in shadows forever. Yeah, it's, for once, they're not talking about me. Okay, well, uh, we've actually made some decent progress here then. We've uh, killed a couple of um, the Mantis Beast.
beasts, the insect men, isn't that, oops, what they call them here, the insect beasts. Clearly not all of them though, because uh, otherwise that objective would be complete, so there's many more to come probably. And we have been given a, a task by the Hammerites, which involves rescuing their high priest and finding the builder's chisel hoops. I'm pretty sure that'll hurt me if I step through it, so. So, uh, we've got our work cut out for us, but we have managed to deal with all the baddies uh, in here. Is that a door? No. I thought maybe there was like something back there, but I don't think so. Um. Yep, yep, we got the disposers. Uh, where are we going here? Here. Nope. Uh, uh, I'm turned around. This way. Oh yeah, okay, so this way goes down to the river, or the dock. Right. This looks like it'd make a good escape route for me and the high priest. Uh, right, an escape route. That's right, this is starting to come back to me now. It's starting to come back to me. Okay, so that goes down to the lower level. Then I think that there's another way down to the lower level. Over here. Next to our little pile of rat men. Indeed. Indeed it is so. Okay. Well, maybe this is a good spot to uh, leave off for now. Um, because, like I said, we've got our work cut out for us. And next time, we will rescue the high priest and find that darn chisel and get the help of those hammerites. But for now, my friends, hey, thank you so much for watching, for coming on back. You know I love you, Tavers. I appreciate you so much. Uh, I don't know if ever in the history of YouTube there's been a series that has gone on this long with gaps this long. I mean, I'm sure there has been, but uh, you are uh, some of the most patient viewers um, that I think exist uh, on the entire YouTube. Um, but thank you again. Thank you for uh, coming along on this adventure with me. We are, once again, getting pretty close to the end, so it's kind of exciting. And, um, as always, I will end off saying, hey, I'll try to make the next one a little bit sooner, but no promises. But I do promise there will be a next one, 100%, without a doubt. Have I failed you yet? <laughs> Never. All right, friends, Taffers, thanks for being here. Uh, and I look very forward to having you back here next time. Farewell for now, Taffers. A supporter thank you in my thief video. It's more likely than you think. <laughs> Hey, there's a first time for everything, and since the last episode, I've started a Patreon and opened YouTube memberships, and there are some very kind individuals who are signed up there and uh, support what I do here on the channel, including these the videos. So, here is where you can see all of their wonderful names, these fantastic taffers, and there's one particular tier. The Fusro Dot here that gets a very special shout out in each of my videos, including the videos from now on. And those Fusro Dot here members are Black Tooth Bob, Jake Loveney, Angel Garcia, Drummer Brit, Rango Steel, Dragoon88, Ragnar Ragnarson, and James C. These fine folks get this special spoken shout out in addition to all kinds of other perks like early access to my weekend videos, uh, a credit here, written credit, as do all of the supporters, uh, and 
the option to vote each month for the topic of one of my videos. So if that sounds like fun to you, make sure you check out the links down below in the video description where you, yes you, can support on Patreon or YouTube memberships as well and get those fun perks for yourself. Once again, a big ol' thank you to our awesome daffers here for their kind support.